one simple observation and you can find the correct answer of this problem without actually solving it. If alpha plus iota beta and gamma plus iota delta where iota is root over minus 1, if these two are the roots of this quadratic equation in x, then we have to find the value of alpha gamma plus beta delta. So basically we have to find the roots of this quadratic equation and then we have to find by comparing we have to find alpha beta gamma and delta. So we know that if we have a quadratic equation of this form ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 and in that quadratic equation if a plus b plus c is 0 that means coefficient of x square coefficient of x and the constant term if some of these three is 0 then one of the root of that quadratic equation must be 1 because obviously x equals to 1 will satisfy this equation and we know that in a quadratic equation the product of root is c by a so if one of the root is 1 the other root must be c by a here if you write the given equation let us rewrite this equation as x square and take minus sign inside so we can write minus 3 plus 2 iota into x and the constant term will become minus 2 iota plus 2 equals to 0. This is the quadratic equation, right? And for this quadratic equation, it is not difficult to see that the sum of coefficient is 0, right? Here, constant term minus 2 iota plus 2, 3 minus 2 iota and coefficient of x square is 1. So, plus 2 iota minus 2 iota will cancel 2 and 1 from here minus 3, this is 0. So, because sum of coefficient is 0, one of the roots of this, this quadratic equation in x must be 1. Now, one root is alpha plus iota beta. So, let us say alpha plus iota beta, this is 1. So, 1 we can write as 1 plus 0 iota. And the other root must be c by a, that is constant term by coefficient of x square. The other root is gamma plus iota delta. So, this must be 2 minus 2 iota. And now we have to calculate this one. We have to find alpha gamma plus beta delta. So, alpha is 1, gamma is 2. So, this will be 2. Beta is 0, delta is minus 2. So, beta delta will become 0. So, therefore, the correct answer for this problem is second option.